Hello my dear students and a very warm welcome to our today's math session. In our today's math session, we are going to start with the practice set 14 from our chapter number 5 that is decimal fractions. So let's see what is our first question. Here in the table below, we have to write the place value of each digit in the number 378.025. Now, they have already prepared a table. We just need to fill up the blank spaces. Like tens, in the column of tens, we have seven. So it will be like seven into ten. Here we will be having seventy. Then in units eight we have so eight into one that is going to be eight. Then here we have uh, hundreds. So here two into one upon hundred that is going to be what two upon hundred. So, how we need to write this? 0 0.02. So, this was our first question. Then, next we have solve. Solve means what? We have to do the given operation and we need to find the answer. Like it may be addition or subtraction. But here, the questions are given based on addition. We have 905.5 plus 27.197. So here, whenever you are solving such examples, what care you need to take is the decimal should be placed one below the other. Now see, it will be 905.5. But here, if you see the second number, after decimal there are three digits and here just one digit is there. So to cover up the space, add two more zeros. So this will be 905.500 plus 27.197. So here what we have done, we have placed the decimal exactly below each other. So when you go on adding 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 plus 9 is 9, 5 plus 1 is 6, then pull the decimal down. 5 plus 7 we have 12, 2 here and carry 1, 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 and 9. So here whenever you are doing such kind of example, what you need to do is the care should be taken that the decimal should come exactly one below the other. Then here we have 39 plus 700.65. So here no decimal part is there. So what you will be doing, you will arrange a decimal and here after decimal two digits are there. So just keep on adding two zeros after the whole number. So this will become 39.00 plus 700.65. After adding, we will be getting 739.65. Here, it is 40 plus 27.7 plus 2.451. Now, here the largest decimal portion is uh, holded by this number 2. So, it will be 2.451. So, here after decimal, only one digit is there. So, we will be adding two zeros. And here, no decimal portion is there. So, we will be adding three zeros. After adding... We get the value at 70.151. Then next is subtract. Even for subtraction, we need to do the same thing. Like see, you need to arrange the decimals one below the other. That is the first uh, care what you need to take. Second thing is what? The bigger number should be always returned up. Okay, as like we do into the normal subtractions. So now see, 85 point. After decimal year, three digits are there. So, we will make it as 960. And then go for the subtraction as we do it into the regular case. So, this is going to be 83.615. Then here, 32.24 minus 97.45. After subtraction, we get 534.79. And here we have 200.005 minus 17.186. So, here we will be having... 182.819. After that, we have a word problem. Like see, Avinash travelled 42 km 365 meter by bus, 12 km 460 meter by car and he has walked 640 meters. Then how many kilometers did he travel altogether? We need to write the answer in the decimal fractions. Now let's see. See, the distance travelled by the bus, they have given it into two different units. That is 42 kilometer and 365 meter. When we need to combine it, how we can do? Either you can convert the kilometers into meter or meters into kilometer. So, here I will be preferring to convert this 365 meters into kilometer. And for that, we need to divide it with 1000. 
then we will be having 42 kilometer plus 0 0.365 kilometer. So that will give us 42.365. In the similar fashion, we will convert the distance traveled by car. 12 kilometer, 460 meter means it is going to be 12.460 kilometer. He has walked a distance of 640 meters. So if you convert it into kilometer, that will be 0 0.640 kilometer now what we need to find we need to find the total distance that has been covered by avinash it might be by the all three means that is by bus by car and by walking so for that simply you need to add the distance traveled by each means so that will be giving us 55.465 kilometer so the total distance traveled by avinash is 55 kilometer and 465 meter or simply we can say 55.465 kilometer. Then the next four problem is Aisha has bought 1.80 meter of cloth for her salwar and 2.25 or you can say 2.25 meter of cloth for her kurta. If the cloth cost 120 rupees per meter, how much must she pay for the shopkeeper? Now see, total how much clothes she has bought, uh, 1.80 meter for her salwar and 2.25 meter for her kurta. Now if I add the uh, length, what I am supposed to get, it is going to be 4.05. Again the same thing, what we have done, we have placed the decimals one below the other. Then, after finding the total length of the cloth, what we need to do is, we need to multiply it with the cost of 1 meter cloth. So that we have as rupees 120. So let's multiply this. Cost of this cloth is going to be 4.05 into 120. Now let's see how to carry out the multiplication. In order to take out the decimal, see after point two digits are there. So you will divide 405 with 100 or on 1 you will be given two zeros. Why? Because after decimal there are two digits into 100. So here what we will be left with? 405 into 120 upon 100 into 1. So now see what you will be getting. If you multiply this, you will get it as 48600 upon 100. So these two zeros, these two zeros will get cancelled and you will be left with rupees 486. So amount paid by Aisha to purchase this cloth is rupees 486. Then next example we have. Sujata has bought a watermelon which is weighing 4.25 kg and she gave 1 kg 750 gram to the children in her neighborhood. Then how much of it does she have left with? Now what is the case? Initially she has purchased 4.25 kg of watermelon. Out of that she gave 1 kg and 750 gram to the children in her neighborhood. So that is what if you convert this 750 gram into kilogram that is going to be 1.750 kg. Now let's see after giving this 1.750 kg to the children how much will be left. Now definitely initially you had more out of that if you take out something you need to do subtraction. So for that what we need to do initial weight minus the weight which has been distributed. So 4.25 minus 1.75 if you subtract this you are going to get it as 2.50 that is 2.5 kg of watermelon is left with sujata after the distribution of watermelon then we have the next word problem as anita was driving at a speed of 85.6 km per hour the road had a speed limit of 55 km per hour by how much should she reduce her speed to be within the speed limit? Now, uh, Anita was traveling by a car and the way on which she was traveling, it had a speed limit. And the speed limit was 55 km per hour, but she was driving with a speed of 85.6. So, in order to bring her into the speed limit, by how much she need to reduce? Now, here, she needs to reduce. That means we have to do the subtraction. See. Speed of Anita is 85.6 km per hour and actual speed limit which is required is 55 km. When we subtract this 55 km from 85.6 km, 
we will be getting 30.6 so that is what anita has to reduce her speed by 30.6 km per hour to be within the speed limit i hope children everyone is clear with today's session and if you have loved today's session don't forget to like share and subscribe your own youtube channel that is your rhythm nexus and if there is any difficulty or if there is any query please feel free to drop it into the comment section thank you